guys, it's Dunny Eddies here, and I have something a little bit different for y'all. I don't know about y'all, but as an avid Star Wars fan, I have searched the internet countless, countless times looking for the best budget NeoPixel lightsaber. Now, NeoPixel lightsabers are typically pretty pricey, ranging from around 280 to like maybe five, 600 on like the really, really expensive end. However, I discovered a video by the one and only Carly King, who did a product review on this very saber. And in that video, it just so happened that she uploaded it the same day I viewed it, and at the very end of her video, said that this company was restocking their lightsabers. So I decided to get one. Now this company, of course, is Imperial Workshop. An amazing company and an amazing place to buy from. And this, this NeoPixel saber right here, this is called the Vega 2.0. It was $170. This is quite possibly the cheapest and bestestest NeoPixel lightsaber on the market currently. Now for $170, this is everything you get. You get the Vega 2.0 hilt and you have the Imperial Workshop logo on the bottom there. It's a solid hilt, very, very beautiful. It comes with a 36 inch NeoPixel blade, of course. It also comes with a, this is a USB plug-in where you can Take the micro SD card out of the saber, put it into here and plug that into your computer or laptop or whatever, and you can download more sound fonts and just really customize the lightsaber. It also comes with this beautiful manual here, which has everything you need to know about how to work the Xenopixel 2.0 or the Profi 3.0 saber boards. It also comes with a bunch of tools, uh, miscellaneous parts that you might need. It also comes with the uh, retention screws that are in my hand and the... Uh, I learned to put it on. So in order to put the blade in, it's actually just stupid simple. Uh, you literally just put the blade in, and you take the screws. And actually, I'll show you real quick. There are three different holes. There's one here, one here, and one on the other side as well. And these lock and hold the blade in. What you need to do is you need to put the blade in as I explained earlier, and then you screw the screws in the screw holes. Obviously. All right, there we go. Blade locked in. So to turn it on, you just need to hold it down, hold the power button down until you hear. Power on. I forgot what I actually set it to to ignite, so we will see. And you can also do gesture controls. So you can flick your wrist like that, like that, and turn it on. Uh-oh. Okay. Had a uh, slight weapons malfunction, but we're all good now. We're all fine here. We're all fine now. Thank you. How are you? That was that was what we call user error. Okay. Let's ignite this for real. There we go. I always forget how bright the saber is until I actually, like, look at it. You can hear... A smooth swing. It has a uh, gesture control. Like I said, you can also uh, jab it so you can like that without pushing the button. And you can also you can also push the button too. And if you hold down the button, it actually changes to the next font. Uh, let me see what the next font is. There's a cunning warrior. You were the chosen one. And he was a good friend. You were my brother, Anakin. I love. I am sad. Ooh, this is a pretty blue. I like this. Also has a cl saber clash option or saber lock. Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. <laughs> I love his ignition sound so much. Also has blaster deflect. Holding the button and rotating the hilt rapidly back and forth while it's pointed down will activate color change mode. Oh, it's pointed down. Okay. Color change activated. Oh, so look, you can kind of rotate it and it's like a color wheel. So you got your greens, yellows, orange, reds, pinks, whites. What's next? Pink and purple, dark purples to blues, to teals, to greens. So you have the entire 
the entire color, color wheel at your disposal. So I keep this one typically at a... Color selected. Hold down the button, color selected. I keep it at a nice, nice deep blue. All right, enough of me rambling. On to the saber spin test. Very light, very balanced in the hand. Feels good. You can also throw it, catch it. It looks cool. Stab it. Sarisu. Purple. I'm not as skilled, I'm not skilled enough to twirl it and then throw it up and catch it. I'm not that skilled. However, I can do, do figure eights. I can do that. Smooth red. Beautiful. What if I can do backwards? Not, not as cool. I almost hit the chair. That was my review of the Imperial Workshop Vega 2.0 Xenopixel lightsaber. Um, honestly, this saber is a solid 10 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more content, and I will also put links in the description to both Imperial Workshop and Carly King's YouTube channel. She does a lot of saber related things, a lot of Star Wars related things. Go check them both out. I will see you all in the next video. Stunning Yetis, signing off.